In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to self make your Android or Google TV device. Now, as we all know, unless you're new here, self making isn't really called self making. All we're doing is site loading apps onto our device and unlocking two settings on our device. So we can get access to apps that are not available within the Google Play Store. Now we've got that on the way, let's get started. Okay guys, so from your home screen, Go to this settings icon. Ones and settings. You've accidentally got to click on the gear icon. And then you've got to scroll down. To system. Click on it. And then you click on about. Well, wind your way down to where it says Android TV OS build. And just keep tapping the center button seven times. To it comes up, you're a developer. Now we've got that on the way, right, we can press the home button. And then we need to download an application from the Google Play Store called Downloader. So to do that, Let's just go to the search icon just there, down to the search box, and in here we can either type or say downloader. So I'm gonna say downloader app. Results for downloader app. So here's downloader just there, the orange icon. Click on it once you see this and you install it straight from the Play Store. Once you've installed Downloader, open it up. You have to allow permissions, so click allow. Otherwise, if you click don't allow, you will have to re download. The downloader app so make sure that you do click and now and then okay okay now in here we can basically enter whatever we want whether it's an app we want to download we can enter the name of the app we want to download or we can enter a five digit code i'm gonna type one now and also guys i've put it on screen so you can either type it in or write it down on the piece of paper it's 826476 so once you type the nut click on go nuts and now redirect you to an abk store And there we go folks, so you can basically freely download all these apps folks. As you can see I've got tons in there, wherever you want. A gaming app, a app store, Cody, media players, nonces, update knockers. VPNs, web browsers for your device or other utilities. But today I'm downloading an app store called Aptoid TV. So we're gonna scroll down till we find the section called App Location Stores and we're just gonna download Aptoid TV. So move your mouse over it, click on it, 
and that will now download the Aptoy TV App Store. Now, if you're seeing this, which you will, for your security, your TV currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from the source. You can change this within the settings. So we're gonna click on settings, and then we're gonna turn on the downloader app. So that it enables us to download from it. Right, it comes up with this. Do you wanna install this app? So we highlight install, click on it, and just like that, we're downloading an app store on our device. If you do see this, you can click on more details and install anyway. It's a safe app. I wouldn't put anything on my app store that had any viruses or anything like that. So once this has app installed, you can click on done. Go back into downloader because we need to donate this APK file. Otherwise, if you're constantly downloading apps on your device and you're not donating the APK files, you could find yourself in bother, folks. So make sure that you've always donating the APK files by pressing donate and confirming by pressing donate again. Press the home button, go into your apps and then you should find Aptoy TV just there. Now if you open it up, this app store has way more apps than the Google Play Store, folks. You'll find stuff in there that you wouldn't find within the Play Store. You've got to announce this. And that's it, folks. You've basically got your one-stop app store, folks. So you can download pretty much any app you can think of within here, whether it's Netflix, Prime, TikTok, um, Subi TV, not to go on to install. So let's install Subi TV. If we highlight it, click on it, and then it will come up saying install. What you do is install it. Can click on settings. Scroll down to Aptoy TV. Enable it. Click install. Sus nine now guys. You've got your very first app. So let's wait for that to install. Okay, it's already been installed. If we press the home button, as we can see, Subi's at the front. Let me show you how to get more apps like Subi TV that give you access to free movies and free TV shows. If we go back into App Toy TV and scroll down to App the case in sister yeah and then you want to push to the right to entertainment click on it and there you'll find a mania of apps folks some of them i don't know myself so you may have to play with them woku solo that's a very good one to have so if you click on that one click install Simples that folks. Fuck, Nick done there. Now what you'll notice is I can't access these apps, Zuby and Woku, because 
if I open up um both of these apps. So if I open up Siri first of all, it says this service is not available in your location. Let me sign the Roku. And it's just giving me this ring, folks. So how do we fix that? Well, we fix it by installing a VPN. And you can get a great free one from the Google Play Store called Award VPN. So push up to the search icon. Down to the search box. In here, you type in Award VPN. for award VPN. I just click on it and install it. Now for this you will need a pin folks. Don't worry you don't need your credit card or anything like that. It's so for free. But what you need to do on your phone or computer so type in any browser award VPN. If the search for that, it will say Award VPN Best Unlimited Fast and Secure VPN Service. Click on that. Click on Get Pin just there. Scroll down to send the right pin. And they will send the right in 10 seconds. Right, and there's the pin there. Write it down or copy it. And by the way, don't copy mine. And because it will not work for you. Now, if we go back to our device. And we open up the award VPN app. We're here, folks. So for the no casing, I would advise to get the most content you select United States. United States is there. So this one's pretty good as you can see by the ring bars. The more ring bars, the better sick. No, can look on that. And then you can look on the power button, so it's now in the center. And then you've got to enter that pin code you saw. It's not case sensitive, even though it may appear case sensitive on the website, but I promise you it's not. Once you've entered your pin, hit the back button and click on connect to VPN. Click OK. And we've connected. Now, what's, what happens if I load up Subi TV again? So if I go into my apps, Let's open up Subi TV. And that's you can see guys, we are straight into that app occasion. So with the VPN on I can now access all of this amazing free content. Look at that. And to prove it. Let's open up the Woku channel. And as you can see, we're straight into the content. Now, depending on where you are in the road, I'm in the UK, 
Hence why I couldn't access this without a VPN switched on and connected to United States. But if you guys are in America, you don't need a VPN at all to stream. All you do, literally open the app, the case, and you're good to go, folks. No problems. Unless you're using an app like BBC iPlayer or ITVX. To use them services in the US or within any other country, go back into Award VPN, change it to a UK server. Just like that, UK streaming. If you connect to one of them two servers, you will get BBC IP there, ITVX internationally, folks. So now that's how to self break your Google or Android TV device. I hope you liked this video. If so, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, do consider subscribing. That will really help me out. And with that all being said, have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video.